and Cheryl here with Inked Pulp. I've got a bunch of stuff out on my desk today. I want to have a fun project. I want to um, I want to make a page. I need to get the signature sewn in my ideas journal so I can start to use it. And what I thought we could do together is decorate the very first page of the journal. So that's my plan for the day and what I had done was pulled out all of the um, things we've made recently. This isn't everything, but it's a lot of the things. I just hadn't put them away yet. I've been stacking them in a pile. So I thought maybe we could go through and pick something. Hey, Big Mama. Hey, Carol. So that was kind of my plan for today is to make the first page for the ideas journal and then you guys probably don't need to see me um you know sew in signatures so i'll put some signatures together and sew them in and then we can start using it but um we'll finish decorating it together because i want to decorate on the spine and i want to put that other pocket in but not today so today i thought we would make the first page so make sure this is the right size and it is i tried to make sure they would fit a standard piece of copy paper folded over so coffee and banana nut bread and inked pulp yummy well you know what i made and i'm sorry about canceling the sale last night i just after yesterday morning you know it was father's day and people want to spend time with their hubbies with their fathers with their sons um you know so i decided oh hey mike um to cancel the sale last night we're i talked to shelly and wednesday is the best day for us i hope it's a good day for you guys but between our two schedules wednesday was really the only evening we could do it um, so we're going to reschedule for Wednesday evening and I'll get that sent out today. So before we get started, let me show you something. So yesterday was Father's Day and my husband loves lasagna. That's another reason I canceled last night. Once I realized, oh my gosh, it's Father's Day. And if I do a sale, then my husband's going to be on his own for dinner. And that's not a very nice thing to do on Father's Day. So another reason why I rescheduled it. But then I went to the store to buy all the stuff for lasagna and I was going to get a card and I thought, man, these cards are like seven, eight bucks a piece. Why would I spend that money? Um, oh yeah, I'm not invoicing Carol for the fabrics until after the live sale. I'm holding everybody's. Um, because, you know, people don't want to get too many invoices. So it'll be after Wednesday for everything. So anyway, I was at the store and I was, you know, going to get a Father's Day card. And I thought, you know, I'm perfectly capable of making one myself. And it wouldn't cost me a penny because I've got a gazillion things in my stash. So I pulled out this stamp which is just black and, you know, I mean, I stamped it in black, so it would just have the outlines. Um, so this was the stamp I used. And then you can take a look and see it, how good I did coloring it. And then this is the card that I made. Um, let's see, let's turn it up this way, it shows better. So I stamped it all in black and then I used my ink tense watercolor pencils, <clears throat> excuse me, and I colored it in kind of following the same guidelines. And then I took, um, did, you know, some shading and things here and there. And then I took my black fine liner pen and went back around and reinforced all the lines at, added a couple of little flower stickers on the side and then you remember the frame project we did i made a frame out of i don't know just a bunch of stickers i had that i had bought from someplace it was a package and i cut them all up and and um made a frame out of them <clears throat> and then i stitched boy i've got a frog in my throat hang on 
<clears throat> Coffee. <clears throat> yeah, so that was that was the Father's Day card, and I think I did pretty well at matching the colors. So that was the Father's Day card I made yesterday. And my husband always appreciates when he gets a handmade card. So that was my big creative project yesterday. And then my other creative project was lasagna. And my husband was so excited when he got home and saw that I had made lasagna. And now I have a whole big pan of it left. So, or half, more than half the pan left. So, um, we'll have, um, you know, lasagna for dinner tonight too. Hang on one second here. I'm pulling up my live. I like to watch the live on, you love my doodle book? Oh, no, big mama. Um, my biological son, although my husband pretty much raised him, um, but he lives out in Washington state. My husband's biological son, who has always had a very tentative relationship with his father, um, is on pretty rocky terms right now, and we just don't hear from him, um, even though he lives only 45 minutes away. So, in fact, we just had a new grandchild, and they didn't invite us to see the baby we haven't met the baby um so that's a that's a sad relationship but you know they don't like our values that are a little bit on the conservative side not look at big mama what i still have sitting on my desk i'm gonna get that to you one of these days um so no we didn't yeah it's a sad yeah, my son called, my husband actually had to work yesterday, um, <clears throat> and my son called him, um, you know, and I think the other boy, once he, um, you're a green scrap, I know, um, you know, once he grows up a bit, um, it's just, just really a shame that we don't get to be grandparents to those two little girls, and they miss out on what I think would be some pretty awesome grandparent experiences. Um, <clears throat> because my husband um, grew up with wonderful grandparents and he used to go spend, he and his uh, brothers and sister used to go spend summers out there. And, and my grandparents were like the most wonderful people in the world. We used to go camping. They had a cabin in the mountains we used to go to all the time. And it was just a really wonderful experience. And um you know, we really wanted to pass that on to our grandkids, but so far it ain't happening. We're not going to, you know, ruin our lives over it. We said, you know, it's their, their children, their lives. They'll figure out what they want to do. So anyway, enough about that stuff. Um, hubby and I just spent the evening together. We had a really nice evening. We had our fur baby. He had his little girl to hang out with last night. And then, so I made lasagna and then for dessert, I bought a chocolate caramel cake and then ice cream to go with it. And I'm not supposed to have that stuff because I'm diabetic, but I, I had some, my doctor says as long as I don't overdo it, I can, um, you know, have sweets now and then. All right, let's get into it. So. Like I said, this is all just a bunch of stuff that we have made together. And thanks, Big Mama. We did. We did have a really nice evening. We had dilly bars. Oh. Yeah, they will come around. I, I agree. I agree. They will. And if And if for some reason they don't, then it's their life, you know, they're allowed to do what they want to do. They're grown adults. And <clears throat> if they want us to be part, then we will. And if they don't, then we won't, but we're not gonna, you know, let it 
bring us down to the point that it's ruining our lives. Anyway, um, so first page to go in the ideas journal. I thought we would decorate it together. We can use, I'll show you the things I haven't put away yet. I've just been making a pile of the things that we have made. And one of the things that we had, I thought about putting this on here and then making it a pocket because this is one of the ideas. Um, we've got these other two little frames that we could use. Um, I know we made a bunch of pockets. This is the only one I'm seeing. I might have put the others away. So I've got this little pocket that could go on the edge. We did this envelope which could go on here and then flip up and have oh i wrote down what everybody contributed to this um we could put this down have it come up and then you know decorate back here and uh, put something in the pocket we have these two with the little you know peekaboo things we could put that there and make it a side pocket or we could put a pocket down at the bottom and stick this in. Maybe do some stenciling behind. Here are the water embossed pieces that we made. Oh. Hang on a sec. I don't know how to turn off autofocus. Hang on. Let me, I guess I'm moving too fast. <laughs> I'm moving too fast and not showing, so let me slow down. So I've got these little tags that we made. We've got this one. Big Mom, I don't think you were here for this one. Um, so we have one of those hidden pockets that we could use. And that's just got book text on the back. We could decorate the back. We have got this little, you remember I was using that technique where I was spraying the archival ink with water and then swiping through it and it was making these fun marks. This is one of the um, double journal cards. Oh, this is more of the, um, more of the uh, water embossing with this little library card in the pocket. Um, here's a couple more of the double journal cards. We have this one. I know, but something's got to go on the front. We've got this one, the Believe with the Mushroom. This is all more of that... Um, that technique with swiping through the ink. And then we've got this one. And then I do have these little, remember we made these? Little dangles with buttons on them. So I've got some of these so oh i like that one this one's i think my favorite of course it's the neutral colors it would be my favorite but i like that one a lot so what shall we put on the front you guys what do you think well let's decide on what we want it like should it be a tag in a pocket should it be you know, a big, <coughs> a big pocket, which would include the envelope or just glue something down on the page. <coughs> the big card. Okay. So I have this one. Oh, I also have this one that we did the other day, the ideas. That might be a good one because it says ideas. I also have this stuffed pocket, but I don't want to use that on the very first page. It's too too bulky. 
um that will go like a tag in a pocket the big card <clears throat> look at there's a little pocket ideas is perfect because it is the ideas journal so we could put that down and then we could still make it a top pocket or a side pocket um like we could put that in there that's almost too big though could do that not that or we could do a side pocket and put something in sideways like this longing for peace and happiness We could put that in on the side and let it stick out. Maybe we want to put the top out. <laughs> it says longing for. Or <clears throat> we could put. Great, you can have your cake. Ideas is a good choice. Okay, we could put one of these in the side. I like that owl. Um, we have this one that says think. We have this little one. Oh, that's kind of cute. And that has the um, water embossing idea. Make it a tuck so you can just slide the card in. Oh, okay. So just around the sides. Um, because I kind of did like this in there. Or, I know the colors in this all match so well. What do you think about that? And then maybe we can um, do some stenciling on the back of the page. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, so here's our two ideas then. We have a tuck with like something like this. What we're making, Cheryl, is the first journal page of the ideas journal. This will, when you open the book, this is what you'll see. So we decided from yesterday, the thing that says ideas is good. The idea and the tuck with the tag. <clears throat> this tag or a different one. I've got this, but this wouldn't, this would have to be, you know, in sideways maybe because it's too little to just fit in here. It would get lost down there. So if we want to tuck with just a tag there, that would have to be it. That tag, the colors, don't overthink it, just do it. Okay, I'm not going to overthink it. We are just doing it. I like it when Big Mama gets forceful. This tag, Carol, I think this is the one we're going to go with. Just because it's big enough and <laughs> good girl. <laughs> I just want to give you guys all the options, you know. Um, all right. So what should we do on the background? Should I do stamping? Like maybe a little collage, like, I don't know, maybe something like that. And then some stamping and then the tag inside. Do you like that at all? 
Stamping and grunge. Okay. Oh, I got a stenciling. Yeah, you need to call on Susan. She's not here. Okay, I have a stamping and grunge. You like this with this here? And then this would go down farther. I can even pull this up a little. Do you like that? This also matches when you open the um, ideas journal. Remember, this is the paper on the inside. So if this was the, um, if this was here, it would match that page. So you guys liking that? Or I could put it across the top and I don't want to overthink it, Big Mama. I'm just playing here. I just want to get it in the right spot. Oh, maybe that works better because then it's down in the corner and then you have this up here in this corner and it kind of balances. What do you think? And then the colors are all the same. All right. What do you guys think about that? And then we can grunge up and do some. Now I need a tiebreaker. Stamping or stenciling. So everybody vote, stamping or stenciling, and we'll go with whatever the majority likes. <clears throat> I like the beginning where I had it at the top. Okay. Then we just have to make sure we put this tag kind of overlapping it a little bit. Stencils. Okay, I have a stencil vote. Oh, I've got gazillions of stencils. We can do numbers. We can do crack. Oh, stamping. I have this. That might be kind of cool. I have this um, stamp, but that's not stenciling. I think I have a crackle stencil, too. Um I have florals, I have, I've got a whole bin of stencils. I have just shapes, you know, patterns. I've got, I've got stencils coming out the wazoo and stamps too. There, I think that's where we had it. Um, this one, put this on the back and then we can grunge it up a little. Um, let me show you. Real quick. Here. Oh, shoot. Dumping over a box full of tags is not a good thing to do. Okay. Let's look at the stencil. So we have that stamp. This is in your wheelhouse. Okay. So Carol is going to decide for us. Big Mama decided that Carol's going to decide. Let me get this stuff out of here. Okay, here's the stencils that I have. <clears throat> I have numbers. I have all these different shapes. <clears throat> we don't have to use them all. You can just use parts of them. But I have those shapes. I have this. Kind of a floral thing with leaves. I've got these Tim Holtz. I've got the dots. I've got the damask. Uh, bubbles, they call this one. Ooh, that one's pretty. I don't know what this is called. This is not a Tim Holtz. It doesn't, well, it looks like the same shape, but it's not, it doesn't have his brand on it. So I've got that one. I've got more numbers. These are all the same size. I've got the ray. Oh, this has always been one of my favorites. You can tell I've used it a lot. This is like cheesecloth. Well, it's called burlap. I've got some arrows. I've got the coffee stain. We could put grunge on there with coffee stain. Put down something else and then put some grunge. The floral, which this one.
Let me see if I have anything else that looks good. Oh, here's another floral. Very busy, though. Oh, here's my crackle stencil. I have a ledger. I have text. Um, oh, I have this one. That's all letters. I've got the trees. I've got swirlies of all sorts. I've got more shapes. Like I said, you guys, I have tons. What I want out? Some daisies. I like this one too. This is just pattern. Right? She had on the. Ooh, the coffee one. Cut the coffee. Okay. So we could put like some of the crackle. Then I have a whole bunch in here. I have more stencils than I know what to do with. Um, let's see if I have. Oh. Look at this one. I did. I was doing a jelly print and I actually. Um, roll that so that's paint doesn't that look cool on that stencil um i've got this one um i'm going to go back and pull the coffee we don't need to necessarily look at every single one of these i have a mandala this is made out of glue hot glue gun someone made this for me isn't that a cool stencil we may have to do that sometime make some stencils together i have a brick background we could do the brick with the coffee stain or the um uh crackle with the coffee stain i'm not seeing anything else that i'm particularly oh there's kind of another grunge. I'll leave that one out. Oh, my word. So, Big Mama, you see, you ask, do you see this one? This was in that doodle book yesterday. Remember I said I had a stencil, and I stenciled the pattern down, and then I just doodled in it. You see the leaves on that one? That's the one I had for that. Um, okay, let's. Susan's it. Okay, let's pull out the ones that we really liked. Let me go back and get that coffee. Um, and then we'll narrow it down. Let me find the coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Where did it go? Now, you know what? I'm not going to be able to find it again. You know how that goes. Okay, let's start at the beginning. We had that for that one. We had numbers. That's an empty pouch. That, that. Oh, I have some hummingbirds too. I didn't pull it out, did I? Oh, <clears throat> wait a minute. Maybe it was in this Tim Holtz one. So we so said we're going to do that. Yeah, I'm looking all through the box, and there it is right there. Okay. So here's our choices. Let me catch up on chat. Can't stay, but wanted to say hi and remind everyone. Thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Yep, Big Mama, you. Hi, Kelly. Hello, Sister Kelly. How you doing? Love watching these lives. Makes me feel like I'm accomplishing a project. Okay, so here's what we have. Um, for those who just came in, we are making the very first journal page of for the um, Ideas Journal. And what we have so far is using this that we made yesterday and making it a pocket or a tuck 
and then using one of the water embossing tags sticking that in there and then using a piece of this paper that we um i don't know where mike went <clears throat> mike are you here he might be working sometimes he works and just listens but then if you call him he pops back in um so this is what we have so far now we got to do something on the background and we can do a couple of things so we had this one as a choice to put down on the background do some stenciling and then over the top of that do some grungy we could even do a grungy <clears throat> little splatter on this top card too i don't want to ruin it but we could put some grunge on there so we've got the coffee stain grunge or just the coffee stain grunge um i also have this grunge not really coffee and then also on the background even if we did the flowers or in place of i have oh spell check added the y i know when when people have names that are spelled outside of the traditional spelling spell check has a terrible time i have this crackle stamp that's real thin and then i have this crackle stencil so let's decide what's gonna go on the back we could do we could do crackle and coffee grunge the flowers are nice, but this doesn't seem to be a real flowery um, composition. So I'm I'm thinking about maybe Vito and the flowers. I would either go with the stencil or the light stamp and then put the grunge over it. That's kind of what I'm thinking. What are you guys thinking? Stencil or stamp. I know that I have my preference. And then this coffee coffee or crackle how about coffee and crackle because if we put the real thin crackle down with the stamp there'll be very thin lines and then over the top of that we could put my opinion if you add too much you're going to take away from your tag pocket stuff okay so do you just think we should just put down some coffee grunge and then have this stuff we could put smaller we could put a coffee splatter up there we could do like this is a long one that might be good up there coffee and crackle lightly yeah i i agree i agree it needs to be light and i'm not going to do it in black but i like the idea of a little bit of crackle and you know what if we screw up this page and we don't like it i have more paper it's only paper all right let's oh look at that look at that A little bit up there maybe i think this is going to be covered by that other paper all right what do you guys think of that very light you forget it's only paper i know i know like we don't like with that crackle behind there i can save this and use it for something else yep very light crackling just a hint of it not all over so let's put this away now and we didn't use this stencil 
now let's put this down like it's going to be so we can kind of see where we want to put the so i think that was going to go there and that like that so we don't have a whole lot of room for the coffee splatters but let's just lit on before i um we could put a light splatter up here i could do sort of the coffee ring like we set the coffee cup down and just kind of do it off the edge you think that's enough oh we gotta have a little bit of coffee splatter you'll love it okay well maybe that is enough we ink up the edges and I got to put a little more crackle down here if that's going to be enough. Because this is just really white. Okay, what is it? Big Mama thinks that we should just stop here and not um, overdo it. Looks good. Okay, let me just do a little bit of crackle down here because there's nothing there. very light okay all right and then i'm guessing that we should probably ink around the edges everybody agree with that if not i'm going to make the executive decision top right is my yeah i just put something there it's very light but it's there there how's that and then we'll ink around the edges maybe i'll wait till i get it all put together yes ink the edges yep well let me do it before we glue everything down I love working with you guys. I mean, I might have eventually gotten to something like this, but I don't know. It's just fun working together. And I don't want you guys to think I'm not capable of coming up with designs on my own because I am. Um, I just like working with you guys because it's like my ideas are just my ideas. When we work together, it's just, it's everybody's ideas all mesh together. And I just, I love you guys and I love working with you. All right. Do a little more in the corners here. A little more down here. I like to get the corners extra grungy. All right. Is that good enough? This one will be in the corner or in the seam. All right. Now <clears throat> we have to decide where. Uh, well, and hopefully you pick up an idea or two that somebody had in here, and it doesn't necessarily have to be me. It's a, a joint effort. Okay. Should we put that? No, it should probably come up off the top a little bit. Is that... No, I don't want, there we go. I don't want these to match up perfectly. Is that the right placement for the paper? Do y'all think? I'm going to go over a little more. We can leave that one up like that. 
I'm thinking just about like that. What do you guys think? Good enough? Okay. I'm going to, I wanted to make sure I kept this in the place it was in. And then I went and pulled it up. I can see where my glue was. Okay, let's see if that's in the right spot. I think it is. Now, I am thinking that um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more so it has more balance on the page. And then maybe we need like a word or, you know, something up there. <clears throat> but let's put this down. And then what I thought I would do on one of the pages is put an, uh, fairly near the front, I want to put an envelope in and I want a piece of paper that has where I can write down names of all the people who have helped out with this project. There we go. Now, does it need something here? A little sticker, a number? Um, does it need anything there? And the other thing I could do is I could take a little bit of this coffee grunge and put it down the side of this tag, or maybe down here at the bottom a little bit, like coffee got spilled on it. Or maybe up here at the top. What do you guys think? Should I put a little coffee stain on the ideas tag? Yay, nay. While I'm waiting for you guys to answer, for the folks that just came in, I'll show you. This is the Father's Day card that I made for my husband yesterday. And that was a stamp. It was this stamp that I stamped the black edges. You know, I stamped it in black so it had all the edges on it. And then I colored it in. And I tried to get it as close as I could to the um, picture. Don't forget. Oh, thumbs up. Yes, please. So anyway, that was my crafty adventure from yesterday. Um, okay, so what do you think? A little bit of coffee splatter on the... On the front tag to make it a little grungier. Yes, Cheryl says yes. Everybody is afraid it will get ruined. I know, but, you know, it's paper. I mean, it's paper, people. We can't be afraid of ruining things. Because, you know what? It might make it look absolutely awesome. Light splashes, yes. I agree. I agree. And... Let's see which one. I think I like this one up here. I'm just going to put it on really light. I'm not going to go hard. 
Oh, that's so light you can't even see it. I might need to do walnut stain on this. Yeah, that's a pretty light um, coffee stain, but it is a stain. And what I can do is take my little sketchy you can't ever really ruin anything, right? All you can do is make it more interesting. There. So it's got a little coffee splatter up there and then maybe a little one down here. And I'm going to take this little pen and go around it a little bit. You hate autocorrect? I do too. There. How about that? Do I need one more to make it three? Like one just maybe right down here or right here? And real light. I wouldn't do anything heavy. Like maybe just some. I kind of like it. So we've got some coffee splashes. Where is Mike when you need him? Mike, I'm messing up your, your card. But we have to have a little bit of splashing. Oh, there we go. How about that, you guys? A little grungy splashing. And I know, Big Mama, don't overthink it. Don't overdo it. I'm thinking a little bit of splashing right up here in the corner, like somebody set the coffee cup down. What do you think? I'm going for it. So this is my idea that I'm contributing. And this one, I don't think I have to go around with a pen. Oh, oh, look at that. I love it. I want to put a little more right in the middle, though, to make it really look like coffee. Oh, what do you guys think? A little bit of grunge. we got a little grunge up here in the corner, a little bit here. Big Mama, you're being quiet. Did I ruin it in your eyes? Oh, that's not. That's just ink. I didn't use the oxide. Didn't think about that. Sorry. All right. So this is going to be the first page when you open up the journal. This is going to be the first page you see. And look at how nicely it goes. I mean, you've got the paper. you got some grunge. Isn't that perfect? Go over it with the oxide now and add a little bit of water, not a lot of water. Um... I will have to find, oh, there it is right there. There is my oxides. Okay, we'll do that. But this is going to be the first page when you open the journal. What do you guys think?
on the card, not the corner. Yeah, I gotcha. Look at that. Oh, I am so happy. Let's. Oh, this is Rusty Hinge. I don't want to put Rusty Hinge on there. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe here's my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. There we go. Okay, let's do this. Okay, where's that piece that... There it is. Here's this one. with some oxide on it and then this one and then where was this last one Oh, yeah. All right. So there's all of our pieces. Now, put the water on how? Just put it on my fingers and spritz it down? Or should I try spritzing it? Hang on. Let me see how this comes out. I can always blot it up with a paper towel if I can find one. Um... I don't see a paper towel. There's one. There's one. All right. I would leave the stencil on there to protect the other areas. Oh, I gotcha. Great idea. Come on. There we go. Leave it on for a few seconds and then, yeah, it's not coming up. And I think it's because it has that ink underneath it. Oh, well, well, maybe it is. Maybe it's still working. Working its magic. So let's just put that there. Let's put that there. Let me let it sit for a minute. And then we'll put... Oh, I got a lot there. Um, yeah, it's not. Maybe when I dry it, it's got that ink beneath, so it's not really. I know what you're talking about, Big Mama, so that it gives the, um, you know, it looks more like splatters. Um, but it's not really working, and I think it's because it's got the, I think it's because it's got the, um, hmm. yeah, it's got that regular ink behind it, and so it's not. Um, well, next time I'll be, it'll be cool. Looks great anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not upset. Hey, we're here to try things, right? But I did kind of obliterate the lines around this. So I'm going to go back around this just so that it really stands out what it is. I'm not putting real heavy lines, but... Yeah, there we go. I like it a lot. I don't know if I'll get to it today because I have a lot to do today, but um, I'm going to try to get the signatures in so we can start. This one is still. So there we go. That is our art before breakfast today what do you guys think 
Now this is still kind of loose in here. It wants to slide way down. So what I may do is glue down a little bit. Um, so that it can't slide all the way down. Because it's, it's wanting to fall in. Come on. And now I've got to start. Oh, let me ask you guys a question. This is a really thick book. So I'm thinking six signatures, maybe seven. Um, but that's not my question for you guys. My question is, oh, that's much better. So that stays up. Okay. So um, how many pages do you guys put in your signatures? I watch a lot of Gail Augustinelli, and I know she puts like 12, 15. There, now that stays up. I like it. Oh, I like this a lot. Um, how many pages do you guys put in your signatures? And even if it falls over like that to the side, that's kind of cool too. Uh, pages in your signatures. How many do you guys use? I'm thinking about 12, and here's the first one. I am so excited. Just look at how well that goes. Mm, mm -mm. 10 to 12, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. All right, well, I'm going to try to assemble signatures today. I think I already have... Um, some signatures made because I had started them for a different journal. Oh, what did I do with that little container? There it is. Hang on. So I've got this one that's got, and this could be an idea too. Remember we did those with the sides? And then we did this signature page. We could put that in there as an idea. It's, that's a page with the clock on it. But what I have are these that I had already kind of put together. And I think I'm going to use, I've got three of these. So there's three signatures right there um, that I already have made. So yeah, I'm thinking seven signatures. Because that's three. So I'm thinking seven signatures in this one because it's such a big spine. I don't see in my signature until after the page. Oh, so in. Yeah, I am thinking the same thing. I get, well, the other thing is you may want to sew around a page. You may want to do some other stuff. So I'm with you. Should I put one of these in? Which one of these should we put in? The one with the bigger stuff or the smaller stuff with the purple? A or B, which one should go in? Or both? We've got lots of signatures. We could put both in. A or B or both. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go because we are at an hour. I've got this one. Might not put that in because this really wasn't an idea and there's really no room to put anything else on it. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. So I've got three signatures. They all have the same front page and I'll probably change that up or mix them in. And then I can use one of these. Um, maybe this because this was an idea of the fabric and then the book page down the spine and a pocket. Um, so I may use that one. All right, ladies and guys, if Mike is still here, um, I will work on this today. And this is our front page. I am so excited. This came out so well. I am just thrilled. Yeah, the one with the lady on the tag. We made this in one of our art before breakfast. And this is a piece of cardboard, actually. It's pretty thick. 
All right. I'm going to let you guys go. You have a wonderful day. And I've got some gardening to do. I've got some... I was going to put this little thing up here, which I haven't done yet. Um, and then I was going to tack this down. So I got a little bit of work left to do on this and we'll come back, put it all together and then we can start popping things in there. So let's go. <laughs> yes, we do. Big mama. Yes, we do. I'm going to go upstairs and cut myself a little piece of lasagna and heat it up. And that's going to be my breakfast. So I let you go. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.